Sister Lydia Blay, please mute yourself. Honorable. Honorable. Hello, Adia. Can you hear me, please? Yes. yes. Can you hear me? Yes. 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 Hello, Adia. Yeah, please, we are going to talk about a labor. We are talking labor. The last time that we met, we talked about uh, management of first stage of labor. And we said a whole lot about the first stage of labor. Please, shall we quickly make a recap of the management of first stage of labor? Erika, Erika, what's your jiwa? Make a quick recap of the labor management of case of labor. Aluni, Aluni, Chrisla, hello. No, when you mention your name and you run away like that, it's not good. Fazia, thank you. Fazia. How do you manage the clients during the first stage of labor? Anybody? Anybody? Management of this, yes. Yeah, and it's always said you are, she go and reach. It's always said you are. This is the umbrella, four cups. Go and reach. Yeah. But Adia, your line is breaking, no? My my line hasn't done anything. I haven't touched my line. It is rather your line that is breaking. So go ahead. El Kausuba, uh, what do you call it? But Kasaduba. Tell us how you manage the clients who has come okay, to sister. deliver. First, you welcome the clients and the relatives to the ward. Good. You make them very comfortable. Like then you, you welcome the clients and the relatives to the ward mm -hmm. by giving the clients a relative a uh, place to sit. Okay. You collect the items that you use for the delivery. Then you allow your client to sit by the nurse's station. Then you take her antenatal card and glance through to know the history of the client before you send the client to the first stage room. Before you make the client lie on the bed, you let the client urinate by taking the midstream urine which you use to check for protein in urine. After that, you let your client wear her gown. Then you help the client lie on the examination bed. Good. 
first you rule out for anemia and jaundice. By doing head to toe examination. Yes, please. Okay. Go ahead. Uh -huh. Okay. You observe for a vital sign, then you check for vital signs. That's the temperature, the pulse, the respiration, BP. Then after that, after your head to toe examination, you check the vital signs. Every 30 minutes, you check for the FHR. Mm -hmm. Then you feed first stage of check the vital signs, respiration, and everything. Yes, after a the examination of the client, you explain your findings that you got to the clients and the relatives. Then you encourage your clients. You then you feed your clients. You ask your client to eat, or you can feed your client yourself. Then after that, you monitor the client. Please, Adia, that's all that I can say. I'm so grateful. Docas, give yourself a round of applause. You have done well. Thank you. Thank you. She has reminded of, us of uh, what we are supposed to do uh, regarding pain stage management. I think she has, she has mentioned almost all the points. Then we don't forget to put perineal part there. And then we instruct the patient how to change it when it is soiled. So encourage mm -hmm. her to empty her bladder at frequent interval because by so doing, it will just uh, facilitate the the contraction of the uterus so that the woman can deliver early enough. Then again, we are also talking about uh, preparation towards the second stage of labor. You have to prepare the second stage of labor fully. And on the trolling, the item in the labor room. Somebody should quickly mention the items on the delivery trolley that every midwife should know so that the already prepared delivery trolley will be pushed to the best side of the client. After explaining the procedure to her by the time the still the baby will come out. So the trolley then will go through the mechanism of labor that the baby is going to utilize to come out from the bed canal. Okay, quick one, delivery trolley, anybody, especially those in the wards. Those of you in the labor room, quickly mention the items of the delivery trolley. Oh, yes, yes. please. Okay. 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 On the delivery trolley, we should mm -hmm. have a bag, bag and max. Mm -hmm. Saka, our sterile balls and cotton, uh, a cord clamp, our forceps, forceps for clamping, and then we have the scissors, and then we have um, what we used to, in case of episiotomy, scissors for episiotomy. I'm cold. Yeah. Okay. Our very uh, savlon. Okay. Uh -huh. There are uh, uh, surgical gloves and then disposable gloves. Okay. Mm -hmm. Boo. Are you done? Yes, Adia. Thank you very much. So remember that the, on the body we have items that are sterile. Those items should be on top of the trolley. And then there are certain items that are clean items that should be under the bottom shelf. That's a statement you didn't make, but I, I think it's not that, that you know that at least the delivery process and then the physiotomy part, the port scissors, and then the child syringe. The child syringe containing either the ergometrine or the ocytocin mm -hmm. 
P2C, depending on the protocol or the facility, what they are using, they should all be on top of the trolley. Then the receiver of the placenta is also a sterile receiver and should be on top of the trolley. The remaining bottles and other things, you mentioned a plastic container and all those should be under the delivery trolley. The bed pan, the covered bed pan should be under the delivery trolley. The, the cell glass should be on top of the trolley. So all of these items should be ready. And that is what we mean by a uh, already prepared delivery trolley to be pushed to the bed side of the clients. They after informing her. So that is the management of first stage of labor. And periodically, don't forget to give the patient feedback. Whatever procedure that you perform on the client, remember to give their feedback. Most of them, most of mid, uh, the midwives, they, they don't communicate to the client. They don't give a feedback. After telling to the, the patients, you need to provide information, to give a, a feedback to the client, where to know that all is going on well, and then we, we reassure them as well. So quickly, let's see the mechanism of labor that the fetus will do before we deliver this baby. If I want a clarification, go ahead. Please, um, I missed the last week um lecture concerning the management of labor, the first stage. Please, um, is that um when do you secure line and take sample for investigation? Is it part of the first stage? Management. You say, um, when do you um, the securing uh, IV line and taking sample for uh, the necessary is that part of the first stage management? Please? Yes. Yes. It's part of the first stage management. And as we mentioned, we said we have to take blood sample. If you are taking the lab, you are setting up there, you take blood sample for lab investigation. And we use an acronym. We talk about the high rate, if you remember. And somebody was even asking, I said you didn't come for lectures. That's why it's named to you. Yes, I mean. Somebody even asked whether the really be there are ah, it's also part. Then I said they are all the same. We use the appointment to manage the labor, the first stage. I'm only trying to recap it for you to yeah. do it Thank you. to it Thank will you serve as much. a reminder for them. That's it. But Thank we, you very much. Yeah. We, we took blood sample and then uh, we said the I is investigation about when you mention all the lab investigation, APC in grouping and tap and cross one. We said all oh, reading and cutting time. We said all oh, when we're managing the first stage of labor. I'm only trying to make a recap so that those who have my data will remember. So let's quickly move on to the mechanism of labor. In mechanism of labor, we are saying the line is always longitudinal. I think I have to pin up for this. Mm -hmm. So the mechanism of labor, please, this is the dog, this is the baby, and that is the pelvis. So I'm ready to talk about the mechanism of labor. With mechanism of labor, the length of the baby should always be longitudinal. Every midwife is interested in seeing a baby that is lying longitudinal. If it is oblique, we are not very comfortable. If it is transverse line, that one I have to go with it. Because then if it is transverse, you have to prepare to see it. We are, but we are talking about normal mechanism. So I'm going to take you through right hospital anterior. Right hospital anterior. So with right hospital anterior, please watch out. Watch out. Observe so that uh, you can also do the mechanism of labor. We are saying the line is longitudinal. Attitude is complete flexion. Where complete flexion means the baby follows the 
arms of the chest. The legs pads are folded on the abdomen. Then the legs of the baby are folded on the thigh with the back of the baby bends, and so that the skin of the baby will be touching with the chest. Please do you understand? Yes. Hello, go over again, sister. Okay. Okay. Sister, please go over again. Okay, I'm going over again. I'm saying that the attitude of the baby is one of complete flexion. Complete flexion means the baby holds the arm on its chest. Like this. Arms are on the chest. The, leg, the hands of the baby are flexed on the abdomen. Then the legs are. The legs are flexed on the top of the thighs. Then baby bends. Baby bends the, the head. To the extent that the chain of the baby will touch the chest. So, this is complete flexion of the baby. Baby has flexed his back. So, I'm saying that this can take place throughout the mechanism. I'm being right hospital and seeing here. This can take place throughout. Baby flexes his back and the flexion is part of the straight. Okay, then let me encourage you to pass through this service. So, the occiput is the leading part. This is the occiput of the baby, that is the leading part. So, because it is right hospital anterior, the occiput will point to the left iliac pectineal eminence. Once the faith of the victim comes to the sacral inner joints. What I'm saying is very successful to point to this side. Let's part of the faith of the sacral inner sacral Florence Wilson. You see it this way. Good. Florence, kindly mute yourself, Sister Florence. And those sharing their friends should also stop. Abba. They are there. Okay. 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 Yes. Yes. Sister Pledge, when you were showing when we were showing the navigation, the pelvic was below the camera. So you were not seeing it. Okay. Can you now see? Yes, you sister. Can you now see it? Yes, sister. Yes, sister. We can see it. Yeah. So this is the pelvic joints. I'm doing it, I guess I said right, but I tell and end that mean it. So now, right to anterior. So the baby is also put to a point to the right iliopetineal eminence, and that is the iliopetineal eminence. There was the tail to point to the left tail to iliac. So we see something like this. Please, can you see now? Can you see? Yes, 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 yes. So what yes. happens like that? The pivotal the future, the cervical future will be in the right oblique blind paper. Movement begins. I'm going to move the baby through the pelvis. Movement begins. The obstacles, being the moving parts, will meet the resistance of the planet from us first. Then you can rotate one edge of the cell to come and lie in the front. So that's it. I'm doing it again. I said the output 
being the leading part. We meet the renaissance of the Paris Club and the Paris. Then if you return to an end of the circle, I'm missing the left side of the mother's pelvis. Then it will come and lie under the safety seat pelvis. So that is the, the head of the baby lying under the safety seat pelvis. The next seat is crowning. Crowning is going to take place. With crowning, the first one I do is internal rotation of the head. I've done the internal rotation. Now, it is under the sympathy pubis. Then, crowning will take place. When we say crowning, it means the head of the baby no more received with contraction. When there's contraction, the head doesn't go back. Then we say crowning has taken place. And then the one character diameter will stuck under the sympathy pubis. That is the largest triangle diameter of the fetal scar. That is the fine carrieta. It measures 9.2. It will then occupy the body, like it will occupy under the synthesis pubis. Then we say crowning has taken place. Those of you in the delivery room, you realize that during the second stage, when you send the mother to push with contraction, when she pushes with contraction, at a point when she stops pushing, then the head will be going back. The head will be retreated. It will be going back. But then the next time you say, push, mommy, you know what? She will keep saying to me. She pushes it. I will see that the head will come. And at a point in time, it wouldn't go back. Even when there was no compression, the head wouldn't go back. It will continue coming. And that is what we say crowning will take place. Please, do we understand? Yes. 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 The chin, the face, and then the sensitive foot, that is the forward, will sweep the perineum. So the baby will be this. This I will say this. This is extension. Yes. That is extension. Maybe has extended the face. Then followed by restitution. Followed by restitution. Mm -hmm. uh, because we are doing right hospital anterior, turn the head slightly towards the right side of the mother's pelvis to undo the twist in its neck. Watch me. If I should go this way, I go that way, uh, I come this way. I have to turn my head to release the person in my neck. And so that the baby, the baby will then turn one eighth of the circle towards the right side of the mother's sky to undo the twist in the neck. After the restitution, what are we in idea? The shoulders will be in the right diameter. What are the one? The shoulders will be mm -hmm. of naked diameter. Mm -hmm. So, it will then rotate one image of the circle to the front so that the children's pattern will bring about external rotation of the head. Please take note of it. I'm saying that internal rotation. Of the shoulders to take place, and that will bring about external rotation of the head. So that on this side, then the anterior shoulder will escape under the synthesis to this, while the posterior shoulder will sweep the pelvis, and the rest of the building will be borne by 
lateral flexion onto the mother's abdomen. That is the mechanism of Ajia. Yes, mother. Please, can yes. you mute the lady just can you mute her? We had this. Please don't share in your screen. We can't see what Ajia is demonstrating. Yeah. You can't see what I'm demonstrating. My picture is occupying the screen. Yes, they need to put it down and say it. My whole picture is occupying the screen. Yet you see, my yeah, please, it's not that. Yeah. It's not that, too. It's not from your end, though. Someone is also sharing a screen. So, uh, you also come small, then the person is going to will come and then occupy that uh, uh, screen. We so can see what you're your demonstrating. Uh -huh. Anas, please, you too, your screen is showing. It's not that the person is sharing her screen. When, once you talk or you make any noise, that person's screen appears on everyone's screen. So we have to mute ourselves so that we only see Hajiya on the screen. Exactly. That is it. Am I continuing? Yes, sister. Who is the most beautiful? Babies. Please do it. What do you think the third? Okay. And I said, yeah, I'll take a picture of the day. Am Yes, yeah, sister. Please take your picture of it. Okay. So I'm going I'm to share the picture of labor. I said the work of the souls of the children. The children is one of complete flexion. The denominator is the OC put. The denominator is the OC put. Preventing parts. It is the posterior aspects. Please take note of this. You meet it in your business and should be able to do the right time. The resulting part is the posterior aspect. Is the posterior aspect of the anterior cardiac body. You see, now that we are doing right hospital anterior, the parental bone that is facing up will become the anterior parental bone. While the one behind here becomes the posterior parental bone. So when I say the resulting part is the Posterior aspects. It's a posterior aspects of the anterior parietal bone. That becomes the Rahat, more. Oh, please stop sharing. Ah. We're in an issue. Rahat, more. Sister, please, can you put there in the waiting room? Person has blocked us. We can't see. This one, when they were teaching people how to share, I know this will happen. Emma. Elizabeth, please stop sharing your screen. Okay. So I'm saying the light of the children, attitude is complete flexion, denominator is the OC foot. Preventing part is the posterior aspect of the anterior parietal bone. Presentation is better. That is the head. So let's move on. I said that this thing will take place throughout the labor. Once it's contracting, the baby will descend. Once it's contracting, the baby will not die. Now, so there's what we call internal rotation of the head. The internal rotation of the head will take place where the obstacle being the leading parts will enter, then it will rotate to the edge of the circle to the front, then it comes to lie in front under the synthesis pubis. Then crowning will take place. After crowning, with crowning, the head no more receives the contractions. The head will not go down when there's contractions. 
That is crowning has taken place. And remember, it is at the crowning that we can give a pisciotomy. We don't give a pisciotomy anything. It is when the hair are crowned that we have to claim a pisciotomy because if not, the baby will come out. Then after crowning, there is extension of the hair. With extension, the baby is finished. That is, with extension, the mention, the tail of the baby, the tail of the baby, and the same people who speak over the phenomenon. Then there will be restitution. Before restitution, the man, when the baby is still, you have to slightly toward the right side of the mother's side. You are in right to see to an area. So it will be left slightly for the uh, baby to undo the truth in its neck. So it turns the head slightly. It is not extension of the head, but it is not external rotation of the head. It's rather restitution. Now, with this restitution, it brings the shoulder in the oblique diameter. It brings the shoulder, the shoulder in the right oblique diameter. Let's take the baby out so that you can see it here. What I mean is, the baby's head is restituted. So the shoulders are now in the right oblique diameter. So we see that this anterior shoulder now becomes the leading part. Head is out. So the anterior shoulder now becomes the leading part inside the vagina. So the anterior shoulder will now meet the resistance of the peripheral Then it will take one eighth of the second notch. What else? And the head, the shoulders are rotating, the, it leads to external rotation of the head. So now you see that the head and then the shoulders are all in the transverse diameter. Have you seen it? Okay. Now, the anterior shoulder now will escape under the synthesis pubis. The anterior shoulder will now escape under the symphysis pubis. Please watch out. So that the anterior shoulder it will pass under the symphysis pubis. Then the posterior shoulder will then strip the perineum, and the place of the baby will be formed by lateral flexion onto the mother's abdomen. Any question? That is the mechanism of labor. Any question, please. Hello, Andrea. Yes. yes. Please. After after delivering of the head, if the baby doesn't restitute, what do you do? We come to you when we deliver the baby. We are doing a mechanism. The baby is doing this thing by itself. So it is this mechanism that will serve as a guide for you to conduct the delivery. And I'm telling you with your questions, I'm telling you, even if the baby dies, it will serve the mechanism will still take place. We need the dead baby. Because it is a healthy form of the that control the baby's movement and, and not the baby by itself per se. Uh -huh. <laughs> so even a dead baby will still do the mechanism and it will come out. Please, do you understand? Hello? Yes, please. Sir. Okay. okay. So yes, this is mechanism. Please, sister. Labor. Mechanism sister, please, I have a question. About Distance and flexion taking place. There oh, sister, please have a question. Inter internal rotation of the head. Then crowning will take place. After crowning, then extension of the face of the baby. After extension of the face. Then internal rotation. As soon as the head, the face is extended, then restitution will take place. Maybe we'll turn head slightly to do the twist in the neck. Then followed by internal rotation of the shoulders, bring it about external rotation of the head. Then the anterior shoulder will escape under the 
six seats can be swapped, the procedures to that will sweep the perineum. And the risk of the baby will be born by lateral flexion onto the mother's abdomen. I'm done with mechanism of labor. Any question? Do you have any question for me? Sister. Yes. Yes, yes sister, I have a question. So sister, I'll please, when the, when the head is a, when the head is engaged in the pelvis, please, which diameter does it take? When the head is engaged? Yes, please, to the pelvis. I, I mean, the denominator is engaged to the pelvis. Either LOA or ROA. Which diameter does it uh, take? It's a sub-hospitomatic of 9.5. Initially, it's a soft No, initially, it's a soft That will take it. But then, what is the first thing to Then, that time will be due to soft hospital of 9.5. Okay, so we have a back. Yes, sir. 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 Yes, <laughs> oh, maybe I want to have a Wait, wait, wait. <laughs> okay. Okay. <laughs> You said the diet had an excuse to begin. It's not that the cover cost you even more. Hey, sorry. You are lucky. I wanted to put you on the dark room. The movie ship with you, my friend, is going to be in a Sister, Adia. Yes. Please, I have a question. No, just ask the question. Let me finish with it. He's asking which of the diameters that the fetus should use. Initially, it is the top of the frontal diameter of 10.2 that the baby uses. But as distance takes place, then the diameter will reduce to some hospital pragmatic of 9.5. That is the, baby, the diameter that the baby wants to come out. The one who asked the question, I think I have said you. Okay, now ask your question. Please help me at home. Sister, please. This mechanism that is natural by the baby. Please in, the the case, of, ah, in the case of cord around neck, will this mechanism still take place? Yes. It will still take place. If there's cord around neck, it will still take place. And that is why. That is why when the head comes out, you feel for cord around it. So that if it is tightly around it, you clamp both sides and they will cast. So that the baby can restitute. If the cord is around it and it's too tight, baby cannot restitute to the head. That's why as soon as the head comes out, you feel for cord around it. So that this mechanism can be completed. Yes, then, sister. Thank you. So the mechanism of labor, you want the song on the mechanism of labor. You know it. Yes, please. Sister, yeah, we don't know. Okay, no, no. sister. Yeah. Okay. Okay. We don't know. What are the people have to say? Keep quiet. So that I'm saying for those who do not know. For them to try. I command you to be saying, yeah, please, we don't know. Is this a DMBA call? No, it's just a DMBA so that some of you may know how to sing it, but you will decide for you to sing for other people. Keep quiet. The moment they start, I will stop and then I will continue my teaching. So tell them to keep quiet. Matilda, let me mute yourself and listen to what we are saying. Matilda, let me start to put you in the dark room. You go to the waiting room there. Okay, so we said with mechanism of labor, this sense takes place throughout the reflection of the baby's hair. Then internal rotation of the head 
will take place, bring about crowning. From crowning, then you see restitution. After restitution, then you see internal rotation of the children taking place. After crowning, external rotation of the children. Then, you are disturbing us. Margaret Labby, mute yourself. Okay, so it goes like this. The sense flexion internal rotation of the head, crowning of the head, extension of the head. Restitution of the head, internal rotation of the shoulders, external rotation of the head, like a crowd flexion of baby. Once again, are you listening? Can I continue? Are you, yes. are you together? Okay. Yes, 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 yes. So yes, it goes like this. Yes. The sense flexion, internal rotation of the head, extension of the head, resetting of the head. Internet <laughs> 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 I didn't get it. I'm not going to The last one. The, the, the last part. The lateral part. Last reflection of the knee. That's what I said. Last reflection of the knee. Okay, thank you. The who moves lateral onto the mother's abdomen. So that is the lateral reflection of the baby. That's all. Please have done any question for the mechanism. So I left move on to deliver the baby. Any question? Can you all sing the song? Yes, please. No, sister. Oh, yeah. Sister, please, let's go. Yes, no, no, sister, please teach us. Hello. 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 Stop shouting. Hello? Yes. Please, please I'll answer more. The one at the waiting room was disturbing. That's why they placed there. So let her be there. No. She <laughs> was not. Please let her be there. Oh. She, she joined the, the, the anatomy. Listen, the Sister, labor. Please, let's continue. Why? Okay. <laughs> let's start with Shane and Sobha on Kaseke. You see that woman, she's now fighting. Ah. Let me find her. I don't know where I can even find her to, for her to join. It is a quantum quantum argument. I can't find the link again. Next time. Okay. So I said, the same flexion, internal 
and hold the heavy stone because I'm in the studio alone. Unless you say I should go and do what I can, then I will do this. Other than that, I'm, I'm just calling somebody to come and hold the heavens for me. Because whatever it is, I will need somebody to hold it for me. I'm coming. So be pleased, you are coming. Hmm. Irene, Musa, and Sharifa, it's not an opportunity for you to unmute your look at it. We are showing us your face. What is uh, that? I said, Shana, you are also showing your picture. Oh. The picture, the moment I start talking, the picture will come. Then you should stop talking. Please, I'll come back. But others are disturbing. You should not tell them to stay. She will hold the and I will demonstrate for you to see. Okay. Then. Okay. Hello, who are you talking about? Hello. Hello, I'm going to have a ballad. I'm going to have a ballad. I'm going to have a ballad. I'm going to have a The pelvis for me. I'm demonstrating for something for you. Maybe you can read that. Okay. Yes. 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 When the bladder is full, and because of the stretching, because physiologically the bladder is becoming, it has already become an abdominal organ, you will find it difficult introducing the catheter. So, this is what you will do. You use your left hand to pull the catheter, right? So, okay, this is how you do. So, I do this in the catheter, right? What you do is you use your left hand to pull the catheter. So you enter, you enter and press. Press the head down. You use your examining finger, the right examining finger, 
Put the head down. You press the head down, so I left hand, like I'm using my left hand. Then you introduce the catheter and push it down. Press the head down, like you're keeping flexion. I'm keeping flexion, I'm pressing the head down. So that there will be space between the unit trap and then the symphysis pubis. Then you move your left hand to introduce the catheter into the bladder. Please, Haji. Haji, again. Haji. Okay, I'm Please. Okay, I'm going to You can't see. Converting delivery. Patient's bladder is full. If you allow the head to come, it will damage the bladder and then you will try. And then because the bladder has now become an abdominal organ, there is a need for you to pass the catheter and empty the bladder. So they do damage the patient's unit tract. So when they do banana examination and press on the head down this way, but maybe we have to take it from the pelvis. Press the head down. When you press the head down, then you can introduce the catheter using your left hand. Use your left hand to introduce the catheter into the bladder. And then you see that once you press down, the urine will be coming out. That is all that I'm seeing. Is it okay? Is it okay? Yeah. Yes, sir. 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 Yes,
and shallow, she's going to push with contractions and breath in between. Please, ladies and gentlemen, listening to me. When there's the woman is the second phase of labor and there's no contraction, please let the woman lie on her side or stretch her legs. Even if she can't lie on her side, let her stretch her legs. it's maybe stand up. Maybe stand up. Who is doing that? Maybe stand up. Maybe stand up. Where is it? Hadia, please. It wasn't intentional. Oh, I'm really sorry. Okay. Okay. Thank you very much. You didn't meet yourself. <laughs> okay. So, I'll put your hand in the middle. Remember which are the patient of because you can never tell whether the baby can come out with ease or not. So add the physiotomy part to the delivery trolley. Then you spread the delivery towel under the patient's buttocks. You are dripping the patient. Please, you will need four towels to do the dripping. You will need proper sterile towels for the death. Place one on each side. Place one dressing towel on each side, one on the abdomen, and one beneath the patient. So these are the four uh, delivery towels. Now, you can fix the second state of labor by doing vagina examination. Now, when you're doing vagina examination, this is how it should be. Please watch my hand. I think so. Please, I'm conducting vagina examination to ensure that the fetus is 10 centimeters dilated. So this is how I'm going in. Please, look at the way I've made my hands. Have you all seen it? This way, the third finger is straightened. The index finger or the pointing finger is bent. So I'm going to use the middle finger to press on the forces. I will assume this is it. I will press on the forces this way. I will press on it down and then I add the finger that I have bent. I add it and I will work down. I will work downwards this way. Please, I say I will go downwards and upwards. Remember the gutter shape, bed canal. So you go down and go that way. If you decide to enter the vagina straight, you will face the patient. You will feel pain on the patient. And when the patient makes an attempt to bring the legs together, the midwife is annoying. Now, when you see an old girl, you will cry. What do you mean? You feel it when you cry. You will spray this without putting the care of cars. I don't know, again, yes, she's trying to explain to you that she's been paid. What's the only one that I was Why are you trying to know? So be mindful when it comes to entering the vagina. Go down and go up. Down, up. Down, up. That's how B should be done. Okay. So you go down. Please, point this on the vagina examination. Please. Your hand is there. You enter the service. When you enter the service, you are affecting cervical dilatation. You are feeling for the presumptive parts. You are checking for more day. Whatever vomiting has taken place, I think you all know what more day is. The overlapping, overlapping of the parental bones. 
the anterior parietal bone will go down, the anterior parietal bone will fall out. If you have in close contact like this, if you have in close contact, then we say, what thing has taken place plus one? Please watch my fingers. What thing has taken place plus one? If it's overlooked, I will tell you, but we can see this, but it can explode plus two. If it has overlapped, we are trying to set it. You set it and we look back. You set it and we look back. It's moving, that is moving, plus three. Please, do you understand? Hello? Yes, I Yes, sister. Yes, sister. So you have done, you have assessed the moving. Once your hand is inside the pelvis. Now, when you bring your hand out, Hello, please help me the service you are feeling. The big portion there, that is the service. So when my hand is inside, I have assessed the cervical dilatation. This one, it has dilated about 6 to 7 cm. Now, when I'm done with the assessment of the monitoring and then the monitoring, then I bring my hand out of the service. Because my hand is now out of the service. And the service. The service, bring it out of the list. Okay, put it in this now. Hello, ladies and gentlemen. My name is now out of the service. The service. The service. I'm trying to see if I can reach the full trait of the same. And that's what we call the diagonal conjugate. The diagonal conjugate, it is the measurement between the under surface. It is the measurement between the under surface of the surfaces pubis and the geometry of the same. That is the diagonal conjugate. It measures 12 to 13 centimeters. It measures 12 to 13 centimeters. So once my hand is out of the surface, I go under to assess the diagonal conjugates. Now, when I make my hand out, my hand is still inside there. Please, then I will feel for the bone of the same thing to see if it is well kept, if the rectum is rooted. I see this vagina is a deep vagina is a mission to a part of the first stage management. Please take note. It's part of the first stage management. So you are saying now, when I'm bringing my hand out, I feel for the sharpness or bluntness of the ischial spines. This is what I was demonstrating to you. I was mentioning to you at that time. Now, when I'm done with the ischial spine, they are blunt, they are not sharp. So I'm now bringing my hand out. Ma, we can see. Please move the pelvis up a little. Okay. Thank is it you. okay? Yes, please. Making <laughs> That this should have been part of first aid management. I've taught you, but now that I've gotten the opportunity to demonstrate, I'm demonstrating for you to see. I'm still managing the second stage of the back. Yeah. I was talking about making a face, placing a seat between the glass bottles to check them in that brochure diameter, that is between the two is clear to brush it. It should be that face. To, 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 to this way. 
Please, please, we can't hear again. Janet and Ellen are making noise at the background. Please, please. Janet and Okay. 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 That her baby is now due to be born. So we have read the patient by putting four towels, one on each side, one on the and one to know the patient. Then the living trolley is already pushed to the best side. You swap the ball again, don't forget, swap the ball out. And then how the dead face and the ball out, the baby will come and use the face and mouth and those to, you know, to smell it or to, it will smear on the baby's face. It's not good. So I've tried the former. I've done with my V patient is truly in true labor. So then you encourage her, mommy, it's time for you to push your baby. There's contraction, push with that contraction. When there's no contraction, you really through your mouth. Down, procedure starts pushing the baby. Mommy, you put chance, push. So I don't know it's pushing. Please, there are two methods of controlling the egg because we don't want this baby to sustain any intracranial injury. So there are two methods that you can apply one of them to control the egg and deliver the egg safely. One method is you can use both fingers, your five fingers, place it on the baby's head. Then you is pushing the baby. You are getting flexion. We are getting flexion this way. The third is you can use the left hand, two fingers of your left hand, place it on the advancing head. You are getting flexion. You want the smallest diameter. That is so pseudopragmatic of 9.5 to this end the vulva outlet. So, no. so you can use the left hand. Place the left hand on it, you are making flexion. I'm making flexion. You spread your fingers. Like you spread your five fingers to aid flexion. In the same way, you spread the five fingers to support the air, to prevent centovia head, to prevent the head from being delivered rapidly. It will affect the sinuses of the fetus. And so you control the pain this way. Now, so now at this point, crowding has taken place. The air is no more going back, even when there's compression. It is not going back. It's not an extension. I'm using the mechanism of labor to connect the delivery. So now, crowding takes place, the extension. You the midwife will extend the head. With extension, there are also two methods we can apply. You can use the whole times. One part, one this part, one part like this, and then aid extension this way. You can aid extension this way. So if you are using the left hand, you can use the tongue and your little finger, the rest of the finger on one side, like this. Then you aid extension. Once you aid extension, then you have to, the air has now come out. Feel for cold around neck. Feel for cold around neck. If the cold around neck and it is loose, slip it over the baby's head. If it is too tight, you can't slip it. So you have to clamp one side and the other side and then protect yourself and cut in the center to release it. When this is done, then you have to facilitate the delivery very far. What is that? Clamp and cut the cord. You don't go inside. Now, once this is normal behavior, so we don't there's no cord around it. Even if there is, even if there is, uh, 
it is loose, so I'm stepping over the baby's head. Now, the next thing is, I'm going for restitution. Baby will restitute slightly, not completely, slightly, towards either left or right side. That will turn the position that the baby wants in utero. So the baby who is sitting by the table asking you, position, then you say, I'm going A, because you saw that the baby restituted towards the right. Or I'm going to A, because you saw the baby restituting towards the left. Okay. Now, so I'm going to be restituted towards the left. Now, restitution has taken place. In the internal rotation of the shoulders, but you didn't see everyone. You didn't see that internal rotation of the shoulders will take me. Have taken place. It is that rotation of the head. Internal rotation of shoulders. It is taking place. So now, every side has turned external shoulders. External rotation of the head. Please, those of you who can with other things, do you want to call the India when you call me? I want to send fresh. Who then who? We are not talking about it. So, thank you. Okay. Okay. Mm, because I want to do the beach the video. Hello, please. This is the question where I have written very important for me. And it's all dear to me. So watch out, please. So we are not going to deliver the anterior shoulder and the posterior shoulder and the rest of the baby. Please support the head this way. Then we deliver the anterior shoulder without what traction. You deliver the anterior shoulder. Lift the baby up. Deliver the posterior shoulder. Something sick. And it gives you sex. Please watch out. So we are here again while you're making noise. Yes, I'm saying it for heaven's sake and for the sake of the beautiful ministry. Lift the head and get out of the shoulders. I'm repeating it because it's dear to me. I said, why the material shoulder and the posterior shoulders are gone? By you using the head to deliver this thing. Lift the head and get hold of the shoulders. We call it the bisaponian diameter. Hold of the bisaponian diameter. When the top of the baby is now, the prince is now here. Then the delivery will be onto the mother's abdomen. But what do we see? What do we see? You don't see the red wine. Here we have the one. The girl went on the head, very long on the head. Then took the leg. And let's tell you the dangers associated with this kind of practice. Then we put the leg of the baby like this. Then deliver the anterior sugar, deliver the anterior sugar, stick on the head. And then I see the head is coming off. The head and the weight of the baby onto the mother's abdomen. You know what you have first? You have first what you call from his house, if you have ever from his. From his and from his house, followed by midwives and no other girls. You meet a whole grown up person and the hand is connected. It means that you will think the human being, the heart is turned, it's connected. You see, it is turned this way. It's turned this way. Some is turned this way. That way. And it's by the side of the individual. I'm telling you, when we can look at this, Adia, please, we can't see. I can't it's see. Uh, because of her understanding. I'm saying that, but we never have to talk about air spicy and from kids spicy. Yes, yes please. Is, yes. It's 10 hours. Some of us call it wicked tip. You know, in US and German people, when you go to their shop to buy things, the white man or white lady will pack your things nicely for you. 
But then we want to say, she would say, my ass will be big at Brown Brown like the Ghanaian person we say. She would stand at the gate today and turn the hand this way. We are making the hand this way, that we should put something inside. And that's why some of the scholars have named every policy as weighted tape. We call it weighted tape. It's a part of the midwife and nobody else. By you flipping the baby, holding the neck, so the whole baby is out. There are five sheets of nerves here. We call them brachial plexus. Brachial plexus. They are here and they are there. So as you put the neck and then the whole baby out, you damage these nerves and it will either cause your keys when the upper, when the lower brachial nerves are damaged, or it will cause else palsy when the upper brachial nerves are damaged. So that is that is the the danger associated with you, the midwife, cooking the eggs and delivering the whole baby. Don't you? So Adia, the please, what's the name? What's the name again? When the lower nerves are broken, what's the name? Plumpkins. K-N-U-M-P-K-U-Y-S. K-N-U-M-P-K-U-Y-S. Plumpkins. Palsy. When the lower brachial nerves are damaged. And then else. Else palsy. <laughs> B apostrophe S. 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 Heart. So let me say Thank you. Uh, yeah. So that is the, the delivery process. Now, when the baby comes out, we are talking about the first contact with the mother. Psychologists are saying that it makes the child very intelligent. It makes the child very intelligent. And so, skin to skin contact. Don't forget it. You have placed a child on the mother's abdomen on which you deliver the baby. Now, after the baby is born, you have placed the baby there. Bring the baby now onto the child that the mother delivered on it. Or the baby can still be on the mother's abdomen. Then you call something that dry, that dry, you that dry the baby. Not to that dry the baby because like cold. Look at the time of delivery as soon as the baby comes out. Look at the time of delivery. Then before you plant and cut the core. Some scholars are even saying that delaying in cutting or cutting <laughs> out prevents the baby from anemia. That's what recent researchers are saying. So take your time, plant, you plant. On both sides, plant here, plant there, and then you cut in between so that. And when you're cutting, don't forget to protect. You go to some delivery room and you see splashes of blood on their walls, in their streets. Oh, because the midwife who conducted the delivery didn't know that she has to protect splashing of blood. So as you are cutting, you are protecting yourself and whoever is standing by. Please, is that okay? Then after that, you are done with second stage. Yes, then you put the nail tag on the baby's wrist. So you don't go there and be messing up babies. Don't go and give another woman baby to another person. It's not good. If you do that, what will not tell you? Okay. Thank you. I need you have also learned something. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, so ladies and gentlemen, that is the management of second stage of labor. If there are points, anything that I said or something that I said that you are not in agreement or you didn't understand, bring it up so that we all discuss it. Yes, I can okay, see. Sister. Okay, sister. Hello. Yeah. Uh, Prisla, Prisla, in team. Sister. Uh -huh. Sister. Please, 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 please,
because that that partner didn't get it well. I said when the head is out, you know most of you cook the head like this. You cook the head. Mm -hmm. You know that serial children and then you serial children, mm -hmm. and, and I'm saying it is wrong. Oh, be a yes. Support the head. Support the head with both parts. And then yes, deliver, deliver the anterior children by gentle movement. Lift the head up. Mm -hmm. The posterior children will be delivered. Mm -hmm. Then the come and hold the shoulders. The shoulders, okay. Yes. Come and show the shoulder. The shoulder, because now the weight of the baby is now around this area. So okay. hold the shoulders and deliver the rest of the baby onto the mother's abdomen. That's what I'm saying. Okay, thank you, sister. You're welcome. Let's practice something so that the authorities in our units, those that you are working with, you know that, ah, sister, you saw a degree in the so I'm fine. No, she's changed. Look at even the way she's conducting the delivery. Wow, everybody will clap hands for you. But we deliver the beer that later we meet the mother and then the mother is smiling at you. So far, she's even angry with you. Then we should, oh, it's okay, that was the thing. Oh, we have a reaction that you are not seeing my work. You are my girl. You are smiling. You are dancing to the table. Then she will ask. And she will ask me to get me to the school. And she will ask me to the school. Because she will not want to see me. That's the head coach. The students are laughing at me when he goes to school. In the fourth of the midwife. Don't do that, please. Don't do that for heaven's sake. Do the right thing. And you get a life baby who is healthy. Okay. Now it's your fourth one. Nancy, you are putting you in the waiting room. How did you come in? <laughs> Nancy, Nancy, you're coming in your hand. Sister, please. Uh -huh. Sister, please. Uh, during labor, how will you know that the bladder is full? You will know that the bladder is full by seeing a sort of depression between a sensitive pubic and then the oblivious. You see that the bladder is full. Sometimes it is not the bladder, but it is supposed to be posterior position. So when you see any subsection depression between the glycos and the synthesis pubis, it's either the bladder is full or it's OAP, the speedo posterior position. So you will see, you will know that the bladder is full. You will know definitely. Thank you, you sister. Know, then you didn't understand anatomy. You should know that the bladder is full. So that will be. Yeah, it's okay. Amazing. Sister, please, can I go ahead? Yeah, go ahead. Okay, sister, when you were doing the Majana examination, mm -hmm. I saw you measuring the pulmonary of the sacrum. So mm -hmm. I wanted to ask, when mm -hmm. the woman is in the active stage, is it possible the pulmonary of sacrum can be rich? That is my first question. It's and so, then the second so question I mean, is... You mentioned the one we're doing when we were talking about management of first stage of labor. I mentioned it. It is part of the money. I am asking, is it possible? Is, is possible it possible, possible you that what your hand can reach the promoter of the circum at the sick uh, at the active stage of labor? Yes. Good. Good. Please listen, based on the question that we have just asked. Please, I'm telling you that uh, I three paternal examination during the first thing that we do, the first paternal examination. Do just look for cervical dentation. But assess the promotion of the same thing. It's very, very important. The promotion of the same thing is projecting. It's protruding too inwardly. You don't really need to go back. It's the promotion of the same thing. I'm not the same like I did, like I just demonstrated. Then it tells you that the scanning of the senior diameter of the brain is obstructed. Labor cannot be a perfect new source. The woman may not be able to deliver perfect China. That is why I keep telling students that, please, whilst you are conducting my dialogue, they have gone. Please, with me. How do you do it? Hello, Oh, I don't know what is the time. Ten fifty-seven. Ten fifty-seven. 
Maybe I'm wrong. I may finish around 11 something. Would that be a bother to you? Would, it be, would that be okay? Probably, probably. Wait. Mm -hmm. Because the presence will be there. I'm trying to do what I have to do. But if we'll by chance we get a car in there. Mm -hmm. Sorry, sorry. Because I asked you to go with me the joints. Okay. Okay. Hello. Hello. Hi. Hi. Hi, Hi. Hi. Don't, Hi. Ever, don't ever forget to ascend the diagonal conjugate. The diagonal conjugate is what we are doing, and because of that, we won't touch the common floor of the safe room. So when you go into the service, you are attempting to reach the common floor of the safe room. We go to the alphabets and we meet the, we are going to meet the common floor of the safe room. It means the first thing we die in the frame is a good bit. The common floor of the safe room is broken it and you will be find it difficult passing through it to come down to the ball. But if you make an attempt to reach, reach the common floor of the safe room, but you really didn't reach there. Then it means that every diameter of the group is actually weights. And maybe it can be born by vagina. That's why I keep saying that I think we try to metal external diagonal conjugates using the ruler and your fingers. And the three make weights. You should measure it and have it at the back of your hand and of your eggs. Do the measurement, please. Use the ruler. I don't have a ruler here, but I can just use uh, this thing. Uh, so that. You are measuring it this way. Please work out. I'm measuring this is the ruler. I'm measuring it. But the measurement this side of the ruler should be in line with the long finger. So something like this. You see that the ruler should bypass the index finger and it should rather be in line with the middle finger. So it is something like this. And then it should be in line with your, the under surface of your thumb. The under surface of your thumb, because it is the under surface, this side that will come in contact with the under surface of the synthesis pubis. It is this side that will come in contact with the under surface of the synthesis pubis. So if you measure a weak second that you find, a thermal diagonal conjugate measure at 11.5. You see, my fingers are longer, they are big. So if my hand is 11, my diagonal externally, is 11.5. Then it means when I go under a section surface in an attempt to reach the full one of the same room, and my ideal move time or hits the full one of the same room. It means that when I move my hand, I will write that full one of the same room easily reaches at 11.5. That is my measurements. When you of the same thing, easily reaches 11.5 cm. If you have maybe you have fingers are soft, but whatever it is, you will still get the normal fingers. Then you will be at 3.5. Or still with my 11.5. That is my measurements. Since I started processing with that is my 11.5. External measurements. So that if I can reach it, and I make an I make an attempt to enter the promo to reach the promo through the same room because I want to assess the patient's diagonal conjugates. With my 11.5, I need to reach it. When I move my hands, after washing my, my hands and moving the hands and washing my hands, I will write promo trip of the same room not to reach at 11.5. So that we can pick that photograph and the part of the photograph, we know that uh, uh, I just did the B at this side, and uh, with her 11.5, the pulmonary tree was into it. This one can deliver the vagina. This I hope you are getting it. Yes, sister. Yes, yes, sister. Okay. Good. Yes, sister. Good. Yes, that is my next question. I'm Anastasia. Anastasia, come. Yes. Help you. yes, sister. Uh -huh. uh, sister, please. In assessing modin, which part of the star do we touch? Because if we find it difficult assessing the modin, which part oh. of the fetal head 
uh, filter scan, do we charge to assess the modem to know whether the Pareto bones are flipping over or they can be separated and they are in a position? Okay. Please, now look at this baby. This baby is now lying in the, uh, the, the position of this baby is left hospital. Let me see. No, it's right hospital anterior. Please, are you watching this? So this part of the parietal bone now becomes anterior parietal bone. I demonstrated it too. And then this one becomes the posterior parietal bone. Okay. Now, in holding, this anterior parietal bone will overlap. It will overlap this, the posterior parietal bone. And I said, looking at it from this very uh, model, Looking at this one, if we are talking about molding, this one is a molding plus one. This one, molding is plus one because the two parental bones are in close contact with each other. So this one, molding is plus one. But if the, this anterior parental bone should overlap this posterior parental bone, and then in an attempt to slip it, that is slipping this anterior bone back, to where it is now. If you can easily slip, if you don't have to balance, but you can easily slip it, then the morning is plus two. You see, ah, yeah, please, we understand. We understand, but I'm saying, say, when you take your hand inside, where exactly do you go and do that flipping? Well, you need to take it a picture of your guys. You see, when you the baby is standing with the OC pitch, right, like this. So your hand will definitely touch the posterior front panel. But before you touch the front panel, the parental mm -hmm. rules are in. And this is what is starting as a yard stake for you to do your body, to also assess your body. It is the parental rules for the theta head that you are touching. So if you're not able to slip it, it has nothing has, nothing has taken place. One parental bone is overlapping the other. Something like this. Watch my hand. Modeling is taking place. This one is modeling plus one. Let's use my right hand. My right hand is the anterior parental bone. My left hand is the posterior parental bone. So my right hand will be on it like this. But you can easily slip it. The moment is plus two. But it goes like this. You try to separate it. You separate and it goes back. Sometimes you're separating your pain, it's difficult for me to separate. Then it's more than a black pain. Then it's not that I should explain to you. Unless somebody has another means, do you understand it? You say, which bone will you feel? It is a parental bone that you are using to do the assessment. Doctor, I am the doctor. 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 I am fingers. Can you do it once again? What? I don't know how you demonstrate it with your, your hands. Is it that which one goes in first? What do you give me? Huh? Oh, mm. ask the person again. Who had her and can help her to? Who had the person can, and can repeat it? Aja, please. You said the anterior so, parental bone overlap the posterior uh, parental so bone. That's what I said. That's what I said. That's what I said. That's what I said. And I said, depending on the position. Depending on the position, that will tell which one becomes the anterior parietal, which one becomes the posterior parietal. 
At what cervical dilatation can molding be assessed? At what cervical dilatation can molding be assessed? Oh, so between, between four, five, six, and seven, you can assess the molding. Because from seven okay. on almost, that is why if the baby cannot come through the vagina because of some reason or because of CPD, that is where we will start. If you start having age there about then you see nothing will be so obvious. That will be so obvious because baby is like baby is organizing itself to come and pass through this only canal. So that is the time that nothing will be so obvious. Yes, Patria. Yes, mother. Please, you said the um the CPD and what causes the the molding. Excessive molding. Yes. So the, time, the, the passage, when there's something wrong with the passage, that's why I use the word. When there's something wrong with the passage, the baby is trying to move the head, so it becomes oblong. It becomes smaller. So it becomes to the bed number. So excessive molding is not the best. But the more baby tries to mold the head, the more it may be affect, depending on the on the type of mold, it may affect the tectonic. You know, the tectonic cerebral is a membrane, it's one of the meninges for brain degree. So there's too much mold, septic mold in the of the tectonic, and then cause intracranial hemorrhage. Please come again. You said excessive molding means what? Uh, I said uh, excessive molding means baby is not able to uh, mold the head work. It's not able to pass through the head canal. Maybe there's contraction somewhere. Maybe mother is having a what do you call it? Projected woman focus. Or over the eastern finds are too sharp. Or is it the outlets? Maybe the cubic angle, instead of inclining at 90 degrees, it's so acute that at 60 degrees, maybe we have to hold the head, maybe one is seen, or maybe one on another part when they can die. Continuously, moving the head. And it's not good. If it is too much, it will affect the meninges that prevent the breed. And maybe they end up with the Doria tear. You know, there are types of molding which I'll give it to you as an assignment. Where are you doing types of molding? Banana. Rapid molding, excessive molding, upward molding. Go to the media parties. Good. Any other question? Yes, please. Please, please. Uh, 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 but sometimes, because of the light, the body becomes very slippery. Mm -hmm. So, can you um, put your two fingers in the hand to deliver the body? You say, can you put your two fingers in the in the baby trumpet instead of grabbing the shoulder? Yes, you can still do it, actually. Okay. You can still put your, it's like we are lifting the baby. It's like we are lifting the baby. Put your Two figures in the axilla, then you can get to the Okay, thank you. Yes, mother. Is the technique used in delivering the shoulder? You said something that uh, after a degree we should let the cross come out. Is that part I didn't get a demonstration? Please, who, who asked the question and can repeat it for me? I didn't hear you well. Uh, somebody has written something there. Bring it up. What did you write? 
the statistics in in delivery of the code. There has been an update on the delivery of the code that now we should not flick the cord over the head, no matter how tight or loose it is, you flip it over the body. Flip it over the shoulder. You slip it over the shoulder. They say you shouldn't slip it over the neck. Oh, okay. Yeah, okay. Come again. They say you shouldn't slip it over the what? You shouldn't slip it over the head, but over the shoulder. Yes. If you slip it over the shoulder, what? That would be fun. Yeah, I didn't have that is fine. Hello, sister. Hi. Let me have a good question. Please, my question was, please, my question was the technique used in delivering the is, I don't know if it's the, it was the shoulder or the head you were talking about. That we said after a degree, when we go back to the world, we should let that um, difference come out. I didn't get the demonstration well. Demonstration on what? On delivering of the delivery of the shoulder or the head. You were someone oh. even asked again, but I still didn't get it. Oh. It was the delivery of, of the, the head. head. Yes. I said, this is the thing. And I said, support the head. I said, support the head. And deliver the anterior shoulder. Support the head. You pull it down, and the anterior shoulder will be gone. Then lift the head up, and the anterior shoulder will be gone. Then I said, lift the head. Come on, hold on to the shoulders. And somebody also mentioned that you can support the, the baby by the axilla because of the life of animal that is sleeping. Yeah, some books are talking about it that way. But mind you, if you hold the baby this way, you get the baby right. This is the baby. Also, you can still put your two fingers here. So that you can push more on the compression on the chest for the baby. So I don't want you to go there. We didn't get the last week uh, recording. Huh? Last week, last week recording. We didn't get it. I didn't get it. Then I have. Please, it was cast on the page. Yes, please. Last question, last question for me. What okay. is the rationale behind the poor drip that we use? What is the rationale behind the poor drip? The rationale drip behind that? the poor drip is that after cleaning the baby, remember, you put the baby on the mother's abdomen. So in order not to let the, the light pop come in contact with the skin of the mother, that's why you first place the baby on that towel on the mother's abdomen. So that maybe it's dry fits before we maintain on the time on each side. It's a way of minimizing infection. A way of minimizing infection. So the mother towels are on each side uh, of the mother. It serves to prevent infection, prevent yourself from infection, prevents uh, a patient from also getting infection. Hello, sister. Yes. Please, we've been told that uh, no matter how tight the pot is, to prevent us being there, we should not come.
They said that to prevent a severe, no matter how tight the cord is, we should not cut it. But we shouldn't cut the cord. How do that? You said we shouldn't cut the cord. Yes, sister. To prevent a severe. Oh. Uh, so, so I'm managing the people with the placenta on me. Yes, ma'am. I just. I'm sorry. Uh, with a tight cord. Hey, a tight cord. How will you deliver the baby? That one. Hey. Oh, God, it took away. Yes, it did. <laughs> that is me. Hello. 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 You clamp up the side and cut so that you can deliver the baby. Then the baby will die out of asphyxia. Yes. Because if the baby is such a great thing, you don't need to clap and cut. How do you mean really resuscitate the baby on the best side of the father? That's the same baby. That's what you are waiting to the baby. I just when the cord is tight, you quickly deliver the baby and then you flip the cord over the baby's shoulder. The cord. Without that. You don't cut. If it is loose, if the, the head is uh, if the cord is loose, but if it is not loose, you can flip it uh, over the head. You can flip it and, and you cut. If it is so tight, you have to cut. Yes. Uh, okay. Thank you very much. I'm so grateful for your attention. If you don't have a can we have our first feed next Hey. 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 Next week, we shall have our first piece. Are you done? I Please, I read on campus. Are we on on the quiz is online. The quiz is online. Okay. 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 If you haven't registered, there's no way you can enter the portal. So if you want to have it paid your school fee, you see, you see, you have made it so hard to use, but it's not easy. 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 You say no, the two fees I won't pay. The reception I won't do. But the evidence I will write. The letters I will send. I mean, two school fees. And I was to write the institution. So please, do some people who have made up your mind that we are not going to register. Neither are we going to pay the fees. I'm sorry. All the letters will start having their fees and other things. And it will never allow you to enter the portal. That's what you need. Some of us do we have paid, but we can't register. No, some of us have, have, have paid us, but you can't register. You can't no, you've tried, you've called the school, the accounts, the directors.
So we can't register. Yes, yes I have not been able to register. No, no, I have to my feet. feet. Please, Mr. Dr. Wells, lectures. Thank you very much for your attention. Please, Mr. Dr. Wells, is it Anatomy or Anatomy and Labor? 